Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the Manager of Training Services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to share a little bit with you about Inventor Presets. Inventor Presets give me the ability to save the attributes of a feature and then use that later on down the road when I'm creating similar features. One thing to understand about this is that it's very easy to standardize and share these because there is a designation in the Inventor project file where these files, the supporting files for these get saved. So if I do go to get started, go to my project here, you'll see that under this project, I have a presets folder. So certain features have this functionality and it will save a file in that directory for that feature type and all the different presets I create for it. So to create a feature preset, it's just a matter of setting up the feature the way I would normally do that. So I'm gonna to go to 3D model here, I'll go to the whole command, and I'll just kind of pick this front face here. I'll pick an edge, I'll kind of do my normal offset off of that edge. Pick another one. Then I can obviously define what I want here. I'll say this is maybe five millimeters. I define exactly what I want, and then I can hit this little create preset up at the top here. And it will then try to name the preset based off the attributes I've created for this. I'll just go ahead and accept that. And you can see it created that feature. I don't necessarily want that. I'm gonna delete it. But to show you how to leverage these, I've actually created different types of presets that I would already, or that I would normally use in this type of part. So if I go to my whole command here, while it's waiting for me to define what I'm using, you can see it's pulling the preset that I just created. It's not the right one in this case. I'll use this tapped M5 by eight, or by 0.8. Same process as I would normally create my whole. And you can see it's got the, the metric profile, everything else it's missing. Um, it's missing a two surface. In this case, I'm actually going to set it to a distance, set that to say 10 millimeters and say, okay. So you can see there, in that case, that preset had an attribute that I didn't quite want to use. It was actually to a surface. I could still override it. I wasn't locked into doing that one. So if I get a hole here again, I'll switch to a different preset. I'll go up here maybe, hit a concentric reference. This one's going 10 millimeters, is that far enough? That looks good. Let's say okay, and there I go. And I can kind of keep creating these as often as I need. One more type here that I've created and I'll leverage this clearance head. Create my references, and there we go. So. In this case here, I was able to create those holes very quickly. I didn't have to go through all the settings. So if you have different types of features that you're kind of doing the same ones fairly frequently, you'll be able to leverage these. Now this command is available in the hole command, the sweep command, the coil command. If you're doing frame, ge frame generator, the insert frame utilizes it. In the drawing area, it's available for surface finish, surface texture symbols, and also in the weld symbols. So maybe these are things that you can leverage and share across your company. Hopefully you can leverage this fairly easily in what you're doing today. Well, that's all for now. Hopefully you found this information helpful and something you can apply in the near future. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at my email address there on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.